working with, but uh, hey, they're, they're the best players in the world. Okay, right. here we go. Dreamland. And the dreams. All right, so uh, Armada going right with the bat, attacking the top platform. It was interesting. Uh, maybe that was just a communication thing, but Armada and uh, Mewtwo King immediately both went for Kira. It looks like they were going for the 2v1. Uh -huh. Ooh, Kira had some uh, tricky setups there, but um, Armada's uh, Armada's angles were too good. Oh my goodness! Was able to get away from that. Red team with a great sandwich combo there. Uh, shout out to NorCal for that terminology. Mewtwo King is going in a lot more than I was expecting. Um, yeah, in the ditto, I think that's uh, that's probably accurate. He's going to be more comfortable toe to toeing another sheet, and just trying to uh, try to feed anything, uh, any kind of setup to our uh, Mata whenever he can. And Kira goes down. First blood to red team. And <laughs> oh my god, Mata mashing shines because it works. Oh, almost got the uh, touch combo. Uh, with a forward air to <laughs> for his up smash, but Armada, not. I like how Armada was nice and patient getting up on the ledge there because he knew he could expect Mewtwo King to hold it down on the other side of the stage. Very nice by Kira, putting pressure on both of them while uh, Armada was trying to recover and was able to get a clutch uh, clutch kill error. Box. So let's see if Blue Team can get their footing here on this stock. Um, what we were seeing... Ooh, nice Mewtwo. Oh, but Mewtwo King's in danger right now. All right, he gets out. He's out of the corner. One time oh, wow. where he doesn't want to be in the corner right there. <laughs> that was not a trade they wanted. That wasn't even a trade. And the, actually, that was really smart by Armada there, uh, get, doing the down smash. Even though he was already done, and there's the risk of hitting Mewtwo King, it kind of delayed their death a little bit more to make that invincibility uh, more of a waste um, for when they can uh, respawn on stage. Like, so it's kind of those little things, I suppose. S2J is uh, definitely walking on eggshells around Mewtwo King. He's not committing all that much, and when he does, he's immediately shielding, rolling away. Nice up air by S2J. Johnny Kim. Oh no. <laughs> now he's in Mewtwo King's territory. Oh. Uh, Kira with a great attempt with the down smash, but didn't quite get the good boxes. So yeah. Mewtwo King calling these back, uh, calling back airs all day. Uh, just can't catch it, basically catching everyone. S2J missing his combo. They're going to nearly need to close out any attempts that they get right now. Yeah. It looks like S2J was uh, getting a little antsy trying to finish off uh, Mewtwo King really fast. And the red team knew it. They were just having none of it. And as we're seeing here, the isolation um, is killing them right now. They're not winning their 1v1s. And it's really showing right now uh, with this 5 stock. Uh, four, I guess 4 stock deficit. So... Uh, going into this next match, they definitely need to make sure that either they are uh, on the same page whenever they're in the pocket with uh, everyone, uh, everyone like you know scrapping, or whenever they have uh, you know each each other each each player on the opposite side of the screen, that they're actually able to corner and pin um, their opposing people, uh, uh, the opposing players, and close out each of their individual stocks like Mewtwo King and Armada are doing. I want to see S2J doing a little bit more of the kind of thing that Gatsu was doing in his first game against Hungrybox and Silly Kyle. He was immediately taking center stage and then taking up center stage with just shuffled neutral airs. Um, he was putting up a wall and daring uh, the other team to try and fight that with their... Uh, it, granted, it was against the Peach and a Puff, so it would work somewhat different, differently against this red team. But I think it would be an effective way of uh, getting some isolation against red team that they'll want. That's great. Yep. Uh, S2J was definitely putting in a lot of work for the beginning of this match against Armada. Uh, oh, unfortunate for Kira. Gets uh, caught up in another classic M2K Armada combo. Uh -huh. Ooh. Uh, Kira was not able to convert him to King and in a lot of trouble. Wow. And down goes S2J. Ooh, caught him before Very his Very nice shine spike. Absolutely nothing S2J can do. Uh, Mewtwo Kira. King recovers high <laughs> knowing he can. And Mewtwo King's in the way. No way they can finish that edge guard. So can Ooh. Johnny finish off this edge guard on uh, either? We got a potential double uh, 
double kill opportunity. Oh, Kira was just a little bit too slow, hanging uh, hanging back, not wanting to get in Johnny's way. So they get, at least got rid of Armada, but uh, Mewtwo King is just going to sit there on the ledge and wait for Armada to get back, so they're going to have to focus on Armada instead. And there's a combo of uh, uh, Mewtwo King not recognizing, or not uh, accounting for that percentage there, not, or not ready for it, rather. Actually, that helped out S2J. That, that did. Uh, I gave him a lot more height to work with. Oh, oh no. Oh, devastating SD right by S2J. Got a lot of ground they need to make up. Mewtwo King just popping up from the ledge to swat Kira in the back whenever Kira tried to do something. Yeah, they're definitely getting in each other's way a little bit this match, but I think it's kind of... Uh, they kind of they might be actually accounting for that, like needing to swing for the fences and try to maybe get some uh, some you know unexpected uh, un unexpected big hits uh, to try and steal stocks from them. Which right now they are wow. they are struggling with. Uh, S2J uh, just took a <laughs> lot of damage going back and forth between the two. Of them. All right, yeah, Kira. Oh, Kira the, doing some good work getting that edge guard on that. Armada, and now let's see what uh, S2J can do to Mewtwo King. Oh, S2J gets him, but while he's doing so, Kira goes off the other side thanks to Armada. So even when Blue Team had a very favorable punish situation in the 1v1, the other 1v1 still went bad at the same speed. <laughs> All right, so is this a best of five? I think. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. It's be best of five for some All right. So we're going, uh, we're going home to Battlefield. So let's see if this was, uh, this is going to be a better stage um, for edge guarding Armada. No walls to ride, um, not as many tricky angles to have to deal with. And that's uh, definitely what they're going to need to do. They're going to need to work on Armada because Mewtwo King is showing that he is perfectly capable of holding it down until Armada is able to help him. Ooh. Good recognition by Kira there to avoid uh, Mewtwo King's re-grab. And he has an opportunity. Oh, but he accidentally re reverse ne he re uh, reverse needled and uh, ended up getting blown up by Armada. He was too recovery. technical. So, um, yeah, once again, Red Team is just taking the early advantage. Um, Armada blowing up Kira. Something fierce. <laughs> but uh, Kira barely escapes his combo, giving Blue Team another chance. Ah, uh, SUJ uh, is just dropping. They need to not be dropping these edge guards. These are crucial. <laughs> SUJ now just, he's just throwing for them. The <laughs> when he's getting on the floor, he's just throwing them bows. But still have yet to get um, get a point on the board. Oh no, it goes past the ledge. Oh no. And Armada. Okay, Kira is able to clean up, and that saves S2J. But man, Woo. that was a. Heck of a reversal. Okay, so now we're actually even they in stock count. They finally cleaned up those stocks. Uh, or not even in stock. Pardon me, I didn't see that Kira had two left. Uh, so blue team is only one behind. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the phantoms. At this point in the game, that's not such a huge deal, but it can become one very easily. All and right. I don't like the blue team was kind of throwing themselves at Mewtwo King there rather than focusing on Armada, who was above the stage. Oh, oh no, no, S2J thought S2J he could have... grab the ledge. Either that or he thought he was going to get a ledge cancel. Either way, Edgehog happened, and now this is looking pretty bleak for Blue Team. Oh, oh. wow. And Mewtwo King able to close. And <laughs> wow, Armada on point. Recognizing Mewtwo King, about to hit him into him. Clutch neutral air. Uh, we're at last stock for Kira. Is he going to go to the bitter end? Or is he going to risk getting Jiffy Catted? <laughs> and what's he going to Oh, no. Oh, is Nothing he going to get a stock here? He, he got, got a stock. stock. <laughs> and there's GG's, handshakes. And, uh. Very convincing 3 0. Yeah. They did have some good things going, but unfortunately, uh, a little bit too many mistakes. weren't able to close out when they really needed to, mm -hmm. and all of those things added up to, yeah, as you said, a, yeah. a very, a very convincing 3-0.
Martin does. Mutu King and Amada, they're closers, they get coffee. Coffee's for closers. ABC, always be closing. I get the impression from watching that Captain Falcon needs to play a lot more precisely in doubles. Normally in singles, he's just flying around everywhere. Oh yeah, he definitely, needs to, be more, he definitely needs to be more careful. Um, because when he does get a sweet spot knee, uh, you know how the hurt box uh, lag a little bit more. You could potentially hit, you know, two or more people if you're in a cluster. So you have to be watching your percentages um, for both your teammates and your opponents at all times. So you know when when it's a good time to actually go for, you know, a hard a hard trade uh, in, uh, in uh, using your, your uh, having your teammate as collateral damage. And even on edge guards, for instance, uh, I remember there was an edge guard that uh, S2J had on Armada, where he tried to go for an up air. And I think the reason he tried to go for an up air was that under normal circumstances he would have dash danced back, dash danced back, and then come in with an aerial. But instead of doing so, uh, I think it was Mewtwo King who was right at about center stage, threatening, um, just barely getting kept uh, off by Kira. And so S2J knew he couldn't go back that far, and he, he tried to force the aerial in a situation where it wasn't going to work. Definitely. So, uh, right now, um, we're going to have uh, a Hungry Box and Slick Kyle and Leffen. Wait, actually, who's on who's on deck? Are we going through losers first or winners? Uh, it looks like we've got Leffen stepping up, so it looks like maybe we're going to have the winner's side match instead okay. first. Um, which would make sense because then we can run all the way through losers. Oh, right on. All right, so okay. it's, it's so going to be... Gonna uh, go, we're going to go into winner's final, so... Mac Leffen versus Mewtwo King Armada. All right, so we're going to see here Fox Peach versus Fox Sheik. So it's really going to come down to how well Mac D is going to be able to hold against Armada's Fox, where Armada, of course, you know, reinvented Peach <laughs> and probably knows exactly all the things Peaches don't like and uh, is probably going to try to blow up MACD as quickly as possible. And in the toe-to-toe -to -toe with Leffen, Armada does edge Leffen out, but um, Armada does make it close uh, very frequently and that uh, very very efficient style that Leffen has um, might translate really well in teams here for him too, especially with uh, the chaotic Peach element here with uh, down smashes uh, blowing up both space animals alike. From what I've seen, it certainly does. Um, it's it's one of one of the reasons that uh, MACD Leffen, uh, I think they were the first seed over Armada Mewtwo King. Um, and uh, MACD is a team specialist, he himself will tell you that. And then um, Leffen's style is definitely very efficient. It, um, it's precise in the way that you need it to be in doubles, where he's, yes, he can go in and press buttons, but he can keep the spacing really well so he doesn't hurt his teammate by doing it. Yep, every button press from Leffen is uh, supposed to be with a purpose. Um, he doesn't like any kind of wasted movement like um, some other people doesn't need. doesn't like to add theatrics to his play or pizzazz unless he's trying to disrespect you. But in those cases, he's usually just not doing anything at all. Or he's just forward being or he's just doing standing lasers, etc. So um, here, uh, he's not going to be able to afford to do that. Um, you know, Mutu King Armada is definitely their, uh, their biggest rivals here in this tournament. And um, let's see if MACD also, um, as a team specialist, is going to be able to step up.